through his image and his likeness. Yes. Amen. Uh, it was his image. Can somebody say, praise the name of the Lord? It was his image. Mm -hmm. It was not your image. It was his image. Mm -hmm. His image and likeness. Mm -hmm. I mean God's, my God, to come with you on earth and then for nothing. My answer is no. Oh, come on, help me. Refuse. Oh, amen. My answer is no. no. I was created with a purpose. Yes. And yes. for a purpose. Yes. 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 I'm telling you, amen. I'm telling you, yes. nobody's wasting his time. Mm. But troubles is wasting his time. Mm. Our situations are wasting their time. Oh, yes. They're just wasting their time. Amen. I was created for a purpose. And we thank the apostles. Oh, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, praise his name. Thank you, Jesus. These are not old wine skins. No. That cannot expand. Amen. Mm. amen. Lord is doing a brand new thing. Yes, amen. Which needs a brand new mentality. Yes, thank you. That's Jesus. why we have to be born again. Yes. That's why we were to be born anew yes. and given a new spirit mm. and given a new mind. Yes. He says, I will take out the old heart and put a the new heart. Yes, Lord. Oh, amen. You can't be successful when you operate in the old. No. You cannot be successful when you operate in yesterday. No. You cannot accommodate the newness of the things, of the blessings of God in old shells. No. Jesus was showing us, knew you, that these, these two things have gone through two different experiences. The new patch and the old garment. Mm -hmm. The old garment cannot be patched by a new patch. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because when you wash them, they don't wash well. Mm -hmm. When you dry them, they don't dry well. Mm -hmm. When you put them on, you cannot put them on well enough. Amen. Amen. The old cannot accommodate the new. Yes. When you come into a new, you need to make sure you are operating in a new mind. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, it's just one thing I, we need to do. We were born to soar. Above the clouds, Amen. like eagles. Yes. How many of you believe that this happened? We were born to soar above the clouds. Yes. But let me tell you, it's not because there is no force of gravity. Uh -uh. The force of gravity is always there. But we were born to soar. How many of you believe you were born to soar? Amen. Amen. I just stand up and, and bless the Lord. Yes. But you could be 
persuaded by this little, little bird. Yeah. They can persuade you and say, look here, when you go too high, it's too dangerous. <laughs> and tell them as well, to be too low, is too dangerous. Yeah. We see so many accidents when we are too low. There are more car crashes than they are plane crashes. Amen. Amen. You're too dangerous when you fly too low. You attract gossipers. Mm. When you fly too low, you attract the spirit of uh, sympathy. Somebody should sympathize. Someone to sympathize with you. The real you doesn't come out. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to share with you from the book of 1 Corinthians. We don't close every service, you see. Because mm -hmm. we, 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 we start with the closing and then we open it now. Yeah. Amen. Yes. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 1. Yes. Chap chapter number 10. Verse 18. Let's all look at verse number 18. Amen. Just tell yourself, I don't want to lose what the Spirit of God is saying to me today. Amen. Amen. Just promises, I don't want to lose. Amen. I don't want to lose. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And don't do anything that will distract you. Because the devil is too good at distracting you. And there hath no temptation taken you, but such as common to men. But God is faithful. I love that statement. I want to remind you that the Bible didn't read as you are faithful. The Bible says that God, God is faithful. faithful. Who is faithful? God. God is faithful. faithful. In other words, we have to get into so many classes of discovering the faithfulness of God. Amen. He is so faithful more than anything that you set is so faithful more than your alarm. You set your alarm to wake you up at a certain time, but your alarm may fail you. But God never fails. It's faithful. How many people have been failed by some God? Yes. Your mobile phone fails. Yeah? You say, ah, I've got my phone. Everything is in my phone. My phone is everything. Your phone can fail. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It doesn't matter what model. Mm. It can fail you. Yeah. Your manager can fail you. Yeah. Your company can fail you.
end of the scripture. He says, be faithful, but who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able? He will not allow you to be loaded above that you are able to handle. We gave an illustration of little uh, children's chairs, uh, like Amesu's chair, those high chairs. Uh, when they met the, those chairs, are you listening? Are you listening? They, they, they met them in such a way that it can accommodate uh, a certain age limit. It doesn't matter how big that baby is, but when you put that baby on that chair, the chair can be able to handle the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you're with me. The, the chair can what? Be able to handle what? Amen. The Lord. But I want you to imagine that chair, uh, like Agnes's chair. I want you to imagine a weight like a mirror's weight sitting in that Agnes's chair. What happens? It crashes right there. What's the reason? Because the specification this unnecessary chair was made was not made to accommodate a healthier one. Somebody say amen if you are with me. Amen. Now, God is faithful not to allow the weight of family to go on a small chair like Alice's chair. Mm. Amen. Amen. We are all busy. There are too many Anna's here. Anna's <laughs> chair, Anna's chair, Anna's chair. We are getting all these things. Praise God for them. Amen. 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 Because they always tell us he is here. Yes. 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 One God. Yes. Mm. Now, when this weight, when this overload, when this overload comes to sit on Anashe's chair, all right, that's where the faithfulness of God, God keeps him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. It kicks in at the time when the overlord is about to be exerted. Amen. My God. My God. My God. That's where God is faithful. See, you can tell me God is faithful when you are jumping in praise and God is Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I, I agree. Because God dwells in the praise of his people. I agree, but when he actually lives, he actually lives in trouble. That's where God lives. I know you when you praise God when things are going all right. You are shouting and saying, God is good. He did this to me. He did this for me. He did this. I agree. But God is really, really faithful. When you are about to be over. Say amen if you When you are about to go overload it, it doesn't matter if it's an individual that is overloading you. When God knows that now, the specs that I made you with, the specs that I created you with, when he knows now they are about to be overloaded, God can stop that individual dead. Amen. Oh, you didn't amen. Hear. You didn't hear that. Amen. I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You, you. All right. He says, He will not suffer you to be tempted above. Which means you can handle other loads. Mm. All right? Mm. You can handle certain weight loads mm. that are designed for your construct. Mm. All right? Mm. Let's get that right. You, you, you can handle them. But see, the children of God don't want to admit that they can handle certain weight loads. Mm. 
Amen. Right? They don't want to admit they can. Even if, if I take this kind of a weight, right? This kind of a weight, right? And as a prop. Are you with me? Yeah. I take this light, weight, problem, all right? And I say, I want to put it on Sister Pretty. All right? It's a light problem. See, the moment that I put it on, she begins to say, hey, 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 I'm dying. Are you understanding? But listen, but the more this Lord settles on, Amen. Mm. She will discover she can handle. Oh yes, amen. Oh. <laughs> she discovers that she can what? Handle. But we don't want any pressure. Yeah. We want to be pressure free. Yeah. And then we say, yes, God is in heaven. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Of God. <laughs> and the promises of God are yea in Christ Jesus. Because you don't know what you are. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Are you with me right there? Amen. Right. What you are going through right now, God allowed it to go to you because He knows you can go. All right? It doesn't matter how painful it is. When it comes, I'm not saying it feels good. It feels so bad that you say to God, take me out. But God wants you to discover. That you can handle a bit more. Mm. Amen? Amen. So when things come to your life and God allows them and not stops them. Mm. Amen? Amen? He has looked at your internal spiritual specification. Mm. And he sees that the tubing mm. that was put in your mm. <laughs> in your inner man yeah. is such that you can handle such pressure. Praise God. Amen. Now he goes on to say here. He says, uh, 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 Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that he are able, but will with uh, the temptation, but will with the temptation. Amen. In other words, the same temptation that is common among men, he will with the same temptation. Are you looking at it? Are you looking at it? Yes. With the same temptation, also make a way to what? Yes. To what? Yes. A way to what? Yes. Now I want to talk to you from that. Now, whenever, whenever you hear the word escape, mm. what comes into your mind? Mm. Right. Mm. Running away. That's what comes in your what? Yeah, in your mind. Yeah. The moment you hear escape, mm. to you is running. Because we are in a country where we've got too many exits. Mm. And those exits were created for you to just get there and yeah. run. Fire mm. exit. If you hear that now, run. <laughs> so that's what we do, even in the word of God, even in life, even in situations that we go into. When we are in situations, God is not saying, when I make a way of escape, I want you to run. No. That is somebody. That is some woman. Look into your Bible. The Bible does not say, when God, through the same temptation, when he makes a way of escape, you should run. Is that what he says? Now tell me what he said. It's what? You may be able to bear. So that you may be able to bear. Which means we've got some things that we need to correct today. 
Hallelujah. Because you have read that scripture and you see that for days and escape provided by God, you must run away. Now, Paul! Paul! Hello? Anashem? Shh. Alright? Amen. Yeah. He knows you are still a what? 